I hope you'll be better than the last one. She stayed only two hours. What's wrong with the children, sir? There's nothing wrong with the children. It's only the governesses. Oh. They were completely unable to maintain discipline. Without discipline, this house cannot be properly run. You will please remember that, Fraulein Maria? Yes, sir. Every morning, you will drill the children in their studies. I will not permit them to dream away the summer holidays. Each afternoon, they will march about the grounds, breathing deeply. Bedtime is to be strictly observed. No exceptions. Excuse me, sir, but when do they play? You will see to it that they conduct themselves well at all times. I'm placing you in command. Yes, sir. Um, 
You didn't tell me how old you are, Louisa. I'm Brigitta. She's Louisa. She's 13 years old. And you're smart. I'm 11. And I think your dress is the ugliest one I ever saw. I'm Marta, and I'm 10 years old. I'm Kurt. I'm 7. And I am incorrigible. Congratulations, Kurt. What's incorrigible? Um, it means you want to be treated like a boy. <laughs> yes, in your Greta, you're five years old. My, you're practically a lady. Now, I have to tell you all a secret. I have never been a governess before. You mean, you don't know anything about being a governess? Nothing. I need lots of advice. Well, the best way to start is to tell father to mind his own business. And you must never come for dinner on time. Never drink your soup quietly. And during dessert, always blow your nose. Don't believe a word they say, Maria. Oh, why not? Because. I like you. Oh, come on, children. I'm for your walk. Father's orders. Oh, oh no. Fraulein Maria. Fraulein Maria. I am the housekeeper. How do you do? How do you do? As for your clothes, Fraulein Maria. The captain had been sent from out of town. Oh, I'm sure this would make the prettiest clothes I've ever had. Hmm. Tell me, do you think captain would give me some more material if I asked him? Well, how many dresses does the governess need? No, not for me. I want to stitch some play clothes for the children. The one trap children don't play. They march. Oh, surely you don't approve of that. Ever since the captain lost his poor wife, he runs the house as if he were on one of his ships again. He orders, whistles, no more music, no more laughing, nothing that reminds him of her, not even the children. But that's so wrong. Can I have a word with the captain in the morning? Oh, he leaves for Vienna in the morning. Oh, how long will he be gone? That all depends. The last time he went to meet the Baroness, he stayed for a month. Oh, well, I shouldn't be saying this. Not to you. I mean, I barely know you. But if you ask me, the captain's been thinking very seriously about marrying this woman before the summer ends. Oh, that would be wonderful. The children will have a mother again. Uh, yes. Well, good night. Good night. Maria? Yes? It's raining. And can you sleep in your room? Yes, of course. Come in. It's raining heavily and we are afraid of the thunder. You know, when anything bothers me and I'm feeling unhappy, I just try thinking of some nice things. Like? Um... Well, daffodils, green meadows, skies full of stars.
is to be strictly observed in this house. But sir, it was raining. The children were afraid of the thunder. So I thought... You did, sir. Do you or do you not have difficulty remembering such simple instructions? Only during a thunderstorm, sir. <laughs> Run along, children. You heard your father. Back to bed. Fraulein, you have managed to remember that I'm leaving in the morning. Yes, sir. Is it also possible that you remember that the first rule in this house is discipline? Yes, sir. Then I trust that before I return, you must have a quiet song. Excuse me, sir. I thought if before you go, I could talk to you about some clothes for the children. Fraulein Maria! For when they play, if only I could have some material. The children have many clothes that any children could ever have. But they need play clothes.